Hello and welcome to Villa Bellaspetto. I'm Sophie Kefenhüllert and today I'm going to take you through this hidden gem. Villa Bellaspetto was built in the mid 1600s by Cardinale Vincenzo Costaguti. Normally, these villas did not have the function of the permanent home of those who built them, but only of a house inhabited a few months a year. The main function of Villa Bellaspetto was the Cardinal's hunting lodge. The meaning behind the name Villa Bellaspetto literally means a villa nice appearance and refers to the surprise of the person who came from the countryside to find himself unexpectedly in front of glimpses of beauty, such as the elevated view towards the sea. So the beauty of this place lies in its architecture and in the surrounding garden and the palace was built with a using a baroque style. At the beginning it was not, uh, the house was not that big to host a big family but since uh, Camillo Borghese with his wife uh, Paulina Bonaparte bought the villa things changed a lot. The palace was enlarged, large terraces, numerous rooms and a dining room were added. The baroque style was reduced to a minimum. The huge staircase and all the stuccos of this facade were then removed. Here we are in the main living room. It is very high and that's why actually the structural situation of this house is not very great at the moment. Indeed, so, indeed we actually live still here but we kind of pay attention not to jump around. Um, but um, yeah, this is actually one of the first uh, works uh, we're doing uh, at the moment uh, to um, make a restoration of the house and uh, to make the structures uh, strong again. This book is a book which was made by Giovanni Piancastelli. Giovanni Piancastelli was, uh, in Italian we say, a precettore. He was kind of uh, the person who were teaching cultural things uh, to the Borghese family. Uh, he was actually also the first uh, uh, director of Galleria Borghese and uh, we still have a lot of drawings of him and watercolors. Uh, this is one of the drawings uh, which are more interesting because you can see the um, train passing by the villa. So basically before the villa arrived uh, until the seaside, but uh, at one point uh, they built the um, uh, railway passing by on front uh, of the villa, so be between the seaside and the villa. And um, actually it's something, it's something that today we would say I don't like it, but by that time it was something um, very new and um, kind of the te new technologic thing to have, so it was kind of an important thing, so they kind of celebrated it. Uh. 